हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ए पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर एस पी सूद रिटायर्ड एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ राजस्थान जयपुर टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग मॉड्यूल फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरी कैटलॉग अंडर पेपर नॉलेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर कैटलॉगिंग The forms of library catalog can be studied by dividing it into two forms. First is outer or physical forms of library catalog. Second is kinds or inner forms of library catalog. Objectives of the module. Following are the objectives of this module. First, to define the various forms of library catalog. to discuss the conventional and non conventional physical forms of library catalog to discuss the inner forms of library catalog and its various kinds physical forms of library catalog they are concerned with the outer or physical form that is external shape size and appearance of catalog types of physical forms physical forms of library catalog can be studied by dividing it in the following types first one is conventional forms and second one is non conventional forms first conventional forms conventional forms can be divided into following types first printed or register or book form second is card catalog third is sheaf catalog register or printed or book form the catalog in which catalog entries are hand written or printed and bound into a volume is known as register or printed or book catalog advantages of register or printed or book form are as follows first it is portable has can be consulted in any section of the library or even outside the library for example at the home of the users but a catalog of big libraries in multi volume can not be consulted outside the library second advantage is due to its portable size it is easy to handle and consult it can be referred with greater speed third advantage is several entries can be seen at a time fourth advantage is printed catalog of big libraries can be used as a reference and book selection tool by other libraries fifth quality is it occupies less space as compared to other physical forms sixth advantage is if multiple copies of the catalog are there several readers can refer it at the same time these are advantages of book form of the catalog first too expensive to produce and laborious process to compile it always remains outdated as no facility of interpolation and extrapolation is available in this form it remains outdated because if a catalog is printed and printing takes 2 or 3 months and within this period 50 books are added to the library and four books are removed from the library this information cannot be interpolated in the book form of the catalog so it is why it is said that it always remains outdated third point is less durable as compared to card physical form of the catalog printed catalog or book catalog is less durable fourth to avail the services of cooperative cataloging is not possible as 
cooperative cataloging services are available in card form only. Fifth is no facility of guiding is possible in this form. In card form, guiding cards are there through which we can guide the catalog, the catalog but in this physical form, this facility is, is not available. Due to above limitations, printed catalog was replaced by card catalog. Second type of conventional physical form of the catalog is card form of catalog. The first use of cards for catalog was made by Rosier for preparing catalog of Paris Academy of Science. It is widely used form of the catalog. Norris refers to its use in France in 1790s and French code was meant for card catalog. In United Kingdom, its first use was made by Trinity College Dublin in early 19th century. In this form of catalog, entries are made and arranged in any desired order on cards of uniform size that is 12.5 into 7.5 cm and kept in trays or drawers of the catalog cabinet. The cabinet containing cards is kept on stand. A road passes through the holes of cards for locking purpose. In this form, one entry is prepared on one card. Advantages of card catalog. First advantage is the facility of insertion and withdrawal of cards keeps the catalog always up to date, hence far from obsolete. Can be easily guided as guide cards are available in this form through which we can guide the catalog. Third is, as the entries are prepared on cards, it is easier to consult and handle by users. Fourth quality is, card catalog is more durable from other physical forms of the catalog. Fifth quality is, being a single unit, cards can be arranged in any desired order, maybe alphabetical, under the title, under the author, or under the class number, etc. Sixth quality is, cooperative cataloging is possible. Seventh quality is, economic to maintain and cards can be changed at any time. If a catalog card is disfigured, only one card is to be changed. Eight quality is present a neat appearance. Some of the limitations or the disadvantages of card catalog are first, it occupies much space. Second, only one person can consult one tray as only one copy of the catalog is provided in the libraries. Third disadvantage is not portable. Card catalog is not portable. Due to its size and bulk, it is not portable and can be consulted within the library where it is kept. Fourth disadvantage is cards and cabinets are too expensive. Fifth limitation is mischievous readers can easily take out the cards, hence less protected. Though a thin iron road passes through it, if someone intentionally wants to remove a card, he can do so without much effort. Third conventional physical form of the catalog is sheaf catalog. A catalog formed by sheets, slips or cards fastened in a binder that permits the insertion or new material. Slips are usually of 6 inches into 4 inch size nosed at the left hand side. 
its first use was made by the university library leiden holland in 1876 it was improved by madam ricky in 1891 jd brown invented in 1892 adjustable sheaf catalog the modern form was invented by arthur lambert it provides shelf locking wicket it is usually used in public libraries of uk in this form some difficulties of book or printed catalog are removed advantages of sheaf catalog it combines the advantages of book and card form facility of insertion and removal of entry is provided in this form second advantage is more than one entry can be prepared on a slip third quality is to prepare entries on slips or paper it is easier and cheaper to produce fourth quality is occupies less space than catalog cards fifth advantage is easier to handle and can be removed from the stand this advantages of sheaf catalog this advantages of sheaf catalog if one book is entered on one slip it is wastage of stationery if two or more books are entered it is overcrowded and needs retyping second disadvantage is carbon copies are not so pleasant as that of original third slips or papers are less durable as compared to cards slips or papers are less durable to as less durable as compared to cards next is do facility of insertion and withdrawal is available but not so easy as in card form fifth cooperative cataloging is not possible sixth guiding is not satisfactory and the seventh one is can only be consulted within the premises of the library non conventional physical forms of the library catalog non conventional forms of the catalogs are the result of rapid development of computer and communication technology these are as follows first is visible index form second is micro form catalog third is machine readable catalog first visible index visible index catalog consists of strips mounted on a frame or cards held flat hinged and with edge of each card protecting so as to make the heading visible the cards are usually of 12.6 into 20 cm size the card is inserted into a hinged draft pocket exposing to top portion these pockets are held in specially prepared steel cabinets in each tray of cabinet a good number of cards can be housed when a tray is pulled out only the edges of the card are visible through which the headings of entries alone can be seen this type of non conventional catalog is used in selected indian libraries for maintaining records pertaining to current periodicals it does not possess the qualities of card catalog the catalog occupies more space even than the printed book catalog it is not portable and there is no possibility of having multiple copies visible index is not useful for the libraries this form of catalog is used for listing of gramophone records illustrations periodicals etc second non conventional 
physical form of the library catalog is microform catalog. In this form of catalog, entries are reduced and printed upon a film or fish. To read this, we need microfilm reader for magnifying the image on the film or fish. The advantages of microform of catalogs are compactness, occupying less space, portability, and accessibility to users. Possibility of multiple copies at the lower cost, easiness to use and maintain. Third physical form of non-conventional catalog is machine readable catalog. These catalogs are prepared on magnetic tapes or magnetic disks. Three advantages of computer catalogs are keeping update catalog with the speed and efficiency, speed search for all the sort approaches and multiplicity of copies. The second part of the module is forms of library catalog. The forms which refers to various varieties of construction and arrangement of catalog is known as inner or internal form of the library catalog. These are broadly divided into following three types. Alphabetical catalog, classified catalog, alphabetic class catalog. First, inner form of the catalog is alphabetical catalog. Alphabetical catalogs are again of the following type. Author catalog, title catalog, name catalog, subject catalog, dictionary catalog. Author catalog is that catalog which is arranged in a, by the name of the authors and it is supreme in value and importance. Readers can approach subject or title by many ways but author can only be by the exact expression as author's name is indisputable thing. In author catalog, entries are arranged alphabetically. Advantages of author catalog is first, it brings all the works of an author at one place instead of scattering them throughout the catalog according to their subject. Second advantage is it discloses whether a particular book by a particular author is in library or not. Disadvantages of author catalog. There are two disadvantages. First is pure author catalog cannot serve the readers properly, hence added entries under editor, translator, reviser, illustrator, descriptive title, etc. Advantages of author catalog is, first, it brings all the works of an author at one place instead of scattering them throughout the catalog according to their subject. Second advantage is, it discloses whether a particular book by a particular author is in library or not. Disadvantages of author catalog. There are two disadvantages. First is, pure author catalog cannot serve the readers properly. Hence, added entries under editor, translator, reviser, illustrator, descriptive title, etc. are to be provided for making it more satisfactory tool. Second is, it should also be equipped with a subject index as an auxiliary approach. Second type of alphabetical catalog is known as name catalog. Name catalog is restricted to author and subject catalog arranged in one alphabetical sequence. Subject catalog is restricted to sub-entries for the names of persons according to subjects headings consisting of names of persons treated as subject. Alphabetical subject catalog. It is the catalog in which headings on the entries are made 
under the name of the specific subject of the book and are arranged alphabetically. This catalog satisfies readers' approach for subject point of view only. Fourth is title catalog. It consists of entries for books under their titles arranged alphabetically. It is useful for oriental works that is Sanskrit and Pali books as authors have been given distinctive names to their works. However, title catalog in its pure form is rare nowadays. Fifth type of alphabetical catalog is known as dictionary catalog. According to S. R. Ranganathan, catalog in which all the entries are word entries, hence it consists of one part only. Entries are arranged alphabetically like dictionary. Main entry begins with the name of the author or substitute for it is known as dictionary catalog. It is called a dictionary catalog because the entries and references are arranged in a single alphabet like a dictionary. Advantages of dictionary catalog are as follows. First is, it is simple in its use. Second, it provides information to the readers if author, specific subject, title or series is known. Third quality is, ample use of references may also be made. Fourth, it provides excellent service in direct manner. Disadvantages of Dictionary Catalog In spite of all the above advantages, there is a great volume of adverse criticism that the Dictionary Catalog has tended to become too complex and unwidely. Its main disadvantages are first, the kind of catalog is unable to satisfy the demand of the readers if the approach is not made through the correct expression of the specific subject. For example, if a reader wants material on chess and he is consulting the catalog under indoor game, he will not find a specific book devoted fully to chess. Second disadvantage, it is not as simple as it, it appears. The alphabetical arrangement scatter the related subjects in unhelpful alphabetical order. Hence, users can not get a full view of the entire ramification of a subject at one particular place. For example, horse, stallion, mare, colt, etc. all are related subjects but the cards will be scattered under the alphabet C, H, M, S, etc. Third disadvantages. The above scattered subjects are connected through C and C also subject entries which are a source of irritation of the readers. Fourth disadvantage. Though it is useful in public libraries but its value in a research library is discredited. Fifth, the change in terminology of subject, thousands of cards are required to be changed. Next is classified catalog. S. R. Ranganathan defines classified catalog as a catalog in which some entries are number entries and some are word entries. Hence, it is divided into two parts, first classified and second alphabetical. Classified 
part of a classified catalog consists all its number entries that is main entry cross reference entries and alphabetical part consists all the word entries that is book index entries class index entries and cross reference index entries according to margaret mann classified catalog is a subject catalog in which the entries are arranged by some recognized system of classification the notation or classification furnishes the method of arrangement according to h a sharp classified catalog arranges its entries in a systematic order of subjects the order usually being that of the classification scheme used for the arrangement of the books on the shelves in this form of catalog the entries for books are arranged according to the class symbols advocating the classified catalog s r rangnathan says that the subject approach of the readers can be only be served by classified catalog it spreads before readers a full connected panorama of all material of on his specific subject all its subdivisions all broader subjects of which it is itself a subdivision a reader is unable to name the specific subject exactly it is always a broader or narrower subject that is usually thought of alphabetical part will direct him to reason of the classified part covered by the number and so and so hence it displays the full field of his interest advantages of classified catalog there are several advantages of classified catalog and the main advantages are as follows first the chief advantage purchased by classified catalog is that main entry not only lies under its specific subject but in the neighborhood of entries of the related subjects second it increases the familiarity of the readers with larger number of books as related books lie in neighborhood third it discloses the strength and weakness of the library by the subject as b- books on one subject will at one place fourth the catalog in a particular subject may be got printed fifth it reproduces the systematic order of the classified scheme in use on the shelves six its class index entries are easier to refer if internationally accepted or widely used classification scheme is used it will help in cooperative cataloging and will promote international bibliography eighth in case of change of terminology of subject only in alphabetical part subject index cards are to be changed no change in classified part is needed ninth it is suggested that it is cheaper to compile easy to file and find books tenth in case library using card catalog classified and alphabetical parts are arranged separately and more readers can consult the catalog at a time classified catalog does not offer direct approach to the catalog it is a two step process first reader will have to consult the alphabetical part and then classified part so it is against the fourth law of library science and law of parsimony second readers are not pleased with it as the notation of classification scheme is not easily comprehensible to average user 
third with any growth and new development in the universe of knowledge the portion of the classification scheme may become obsolete and thus relevant part of the subject catalog has to be revised third type of inner forms of the library catalog is alphabetico classed catalog or alphabetic class catalog petter has defined alphabetical classed catalog as an alphabetic subject catalog in which the subjects are grouped in broad classes with an enormous alphabetic subdivisions it may also include author and title entries in the same alphabet it follows two methods of arrangement first major subject divisions are arranged in a classified order and subordinate subjects within major division in the alphabetical order second major subdivisions are put in alphabetical order with subordinate subjects are arranged in classified sequence in this form of catalog the combined advantages of both alphabetic and, and classified catalog are achieved so students let us summarize what we have learned in this module as the module is divided into two parts part 1 is about the physical form of the catalog we have learned the conventional physical forms of the catalog that is printed piece or book form of catalog card catalog and sheaf catalog and their advantages disadvantages also non conventional physical forms which we have studied in this module are visible index micro form of catalog and machine readable catalog second part of the module is about the inner forms of the catalog in which we have studied alphabetical catalog classified catalog dictionary catalog alphabetical class catalogs their definition advantages and disadvantages